What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rebuke All Devils, man. And we got this breaking news story come up out of the, coming up out of the NBC New York Channel 4. Two New York Police Department officers shot in Queens. Suspect is dead. NBC New York. Man, let's find out what happened. Shot in the line of duty this afternoon. They both need surgery, but good news, they should make a full recovery. Video from the Citizen app shows other officers responding to that scene. Let's take a live look now at that scene from Chopper 4. The police commissioner says the officers were shot almost as soon as they arrived at the oh, home, man. and the suspect is dead. We've learned he was a peace officer, so we've got live team coverage to sort through all of it. We'll begin with News Force Mark Santia, who is in Springfield Garden. Mark. And David, what I'm going to do, I'm going to step out. I want to give you a live look at what's happening right now. You can see investigators going in and out of that home. They're collecting evidence. The violence unfolded on a dead-end block near 145th Drive and Farmers Boulevard. Two officers were shot at a home on this street. We want to show you some video of one of the wounded officers being whisked away and rushed to the hospital moments after the shooting, the gunfire happening just before 1 p.m. this afternoon. Police were escorting a woman back to her home to gather some belongings after she told police she was attacked by her husband. Officers came under fire at the home. One cop shot in the hand. The other cop shot in the leg. Police returned fire, killing the shooter. Both officers who have nearly 14 years with the police department and nearly six years with the police department, respectively, are awake and in stable condition here at Jamaica Medical Center. Again, both require surgery for their very serious injuries, and we're hopeful for a full recovery. Police did recover two weapons at the scene. You see them right here. The shooter identified as 41-year-old Rondell Goppy. He's a, a peace officer. He worked at one time at CUNY. We are live in Springfield Gardens, Queens. I'm Mark Santia, News 4 New York. All right, Mark, thanks for the latest there from the scene. Want to get to News Force Chris Glorio, so he continues our team coverage live outside the hospital in Jamaica, Queens. Chris. Well, let's begin with that positive news that both of these officers are going to be okay. They're both going to survive. The police commissioner said they are currently inside Jamaica Hospital. They are awake and talking, but their injuries are very serious. As you heard, they will both need surgery. And these are two men with very young families, one of them a 14-year veteran with a wife, a three-year-old, and a newborn baby. The other officer, a six-year veteran of the force with a pregnant wife and a one-year-old. Now, as you heard, the shootout unfolded as both officers were at the home responding to this reported domestic violence incident from the night before. One of the officers in this shootout was struck in the thigh and the slug actually broke his femur. The other officer was hit in both hands outside the emergency room. The mayor and the head of the Patrolman's Benevolent Association, two men who are often at odds, were in unison praising the heroism of these wounded cops. Thank God our two officers are in stable condition. Thank God they will pull through. They have serious injuries, but ultimately they're going to be okay. And those that disrespect police officers, those that want to say, well, let's defund them. Let's take them out of every different type of job. Here's an example. It's an example of a domestic dispute. It's an example when the police officers walk in, they get shot at. Dozens and dozens of police officers from the 105 precinct where these two officers work came here to the hospital, obviously very concerned about the welfare of their colleague. Commissioner Shea greeted them. And again, everyone very relieved that they are going to survive. And hopefully these two men will get to see their families, their young families for Thanksgiving. Reporting hey, Chris, man, we appreciate that reporting, man. And, and, that, and, and you know, man, that's 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 crazy, man, you know. You you shoot at the police, man. They go definitely shoot shoot back at you, man. And and you know all of this over a, d a domestic dispute, which probably could have been avoided. You know, it, it's always a two way street in the relationship, man. And you can always listen to your girl, and your girl can always listen to you. But you know, uh, shooting at the police, they're gonna definitely return fire. And that was just, man. You know, and sometimes you know if y'all do have a dispute. Maybe, you know, a little time apart is good for you. You know, give you time to analyze, you know, what it is that you may be doing wrong. 
give her time to analyze what it is that she may be doing wrong. And then you both can come to a conclusion of, you know, of how you can treat each other better, you know, and then you can avoid any kind of mess like this, you know. But like he said, you know, no cops was injured. It's unfortunately he passed away. Hope he had his life right with the most high, you know. And, uh, man, another day of start, and he won't be around to be with his family. Never get to see his, his wife again or none of that. Kiss your house goodbye, too. With that being said, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit on that notification bell. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. And y'all have a safe night, YouTube. Shalom.